Hello guys, how's it going? It's Six here today. I'm back, finally, after a month. It's barely been anything, but my view count has sure showed it. But anyways, today I figured I'd bring you guys how to build a cruise ship, because it is the most popular series, and I wanted to get something out of the way. Now, it's not going to be a very long episode, um, because I, it's just basically making the stern rooms like I actually said last episode. So, that's what I'm going to be doing today, but mainly I just want to do a quick channel update, because I know the majority of people subscribed to me will watch this. Uh, I was going to do it on Ironcraft, but... Uh, a lot of people don't watch Iron Craft compared to how many people watch this. So, pretty much what happened for the past month is I was gone. That's why this video hasn't been uploaded for about a month. But of course, if you're watching this two years in the future, then this doesn't this doesn't affect you. So just skip. But um, I had to study for the FAA written test, and I had a lot of stuff to do flying wise. Um, but now that's kind of all settled down. I've passed the test. Now I'm just working on my hours getting up. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually about to solo, so that's going to be fun. But that's kind of like what's going on with me, and that's why I haven't been up for it. And also school just started uh, about a week ago. But now that everything's starting to settle down, I'm going to start uploading more. Um, I don't know how much that's going to be exactly. I don't know if I can do this once a week, every other week. It just kind of depends on my schedule. Is I'll film whenever I really uh, when I want to, though, when I, when I feel like it. So that's kind of the way it's going to be uh, from now on. But I'm going to try to start focusing more on flight simulation on the channel. I'm going to do prepared, uh, which is a flight simulator, which is a really, really great flight simulator. And I do want to do some videos on that. Uh, and I'm going to start backing away from Minecraft compared to doing flight simulator stuff because I really like flight simulator stuff. But I'll still do your how to build a cruise ship until the series is up and then uh, I might build another cruise ship. So let's go ahead and get started because most of you guys probably don't care. So last episode, I said, I think I said that I was going to finish up these rooms in the back for you guys, and that's exactly what I plan on doing today. So it's not going to be that hard, honestly, it should uh, it should be pretty easy. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm on Ironcraft, by the way, so those of you that, you guys, that don't know that I have a server, I do, it is Ironcraft, and that's where the ship is. So I'm not going to be doing a download link anymore. Uh, if you want to see it, you can go ahead and come onto the server, uh, and you can see it for yourself, actually, live updates. So um, how do you get to this ship? You just go slash warp ag. And then you come to my yard, and then you're going to see this giant cruise ship. And then my uh, the How to Build a Cruise Ship ship is right here. So if you guys like to come on and see that, then you are more than welcome to. The IP will be in the description below to come by and check it out. Okay, let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So, we're going to want to extend this hallway, kind of. It's going to be very difficult. Now, the hallway doesn't necessarily have to match everything else we've already had, because it's going to be smaller. Uh, it, it's just going to be that way. Uh, so... These are going to be kind of small rooms, they're not necessarily going to be suites, I did see that comment that someone posted said that they're all suites in the back, that is not true all the time, especially with a tiny ship like this one, it's not going to be true at all, uh, it's a very very small ship, so it's going to have very very small rooms in the back of the ship, because it's all going to be mashed together, now if you come up to the end and you actually have rooms available that are actually bigger, then that's a really different story, but again, it just depends on the ship that you've made, it, it just really just depends. Um, so this is gonna be, go ahead. This is gonna be our doorway, and we're gonna line the walls like uh, like um, every other wall that we've already done in the ships. So we're gonna try to make the walls on the outside the same as well. It's just gonna be kind of all mashed together, and that, it's just gonna you'll you, you'll see what I mean. Um, and actually, we're only gonna do half of it because we're gonna use World Edit to flip it. So as you see, I'm continuing this hallway. We're continuing the wall pattern like this. Now if you look in here, there's some stairs, so I'm going to also bring that into effect. Remember what I said earlier in the episode, how it, how it has the same style? We're going to continue to do that same style, like that. You see we have the wood up there, and I'm also going to go ahead and put the wood right there as well. I'm going to leave a space for the, for the light right there. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and put in some of these gray to continue the matching floors. And we're going to go ahead and work on these cabins. So, again, they do not have to be big. And most of the time, I don't even put bathrooms in them because of how small they are. So, this is going to be a room divider right here. So, it's going to be about this. Now, I don't remember what the rooms look like in this ship, to be honest. So, okay, I'll say I just put wood down in it. So, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. So, I'm going to go ahead and get myself an axe. Alright. So, I'm going to do that. And we're going to do what we do in every other room. We're going to go ahead and stack, or not stack it, uh, no, it's fill. We're going to fill it with all the different types of woods, because that's what we did in the other cabins. Now, of course, if your ship, if you didn't end up using wood, then you want it in your cabins, and you're going to want to use something else, uh, whatever you used inside the cabin so that it matches. So we're only going to do the two different types of wood. Because... Oops, no, it's such, such, sad. Ah, I'm not even thinking today. Sorry, it has been a long time since I've done one of these, as most of you know. So just just let me get used, get used to it again. So we're going to fill these walls with the best of the ability. 
and we'll fill in these guys like that. And then we kind of have a frame for a room. So like I said, it's not going to be the grandest room in the world. It just has to work because uh, you don't want dead space in your ship. That's the last thing that you want. So just try to work through it. Try to add as much details as you can. As you can see, what I'm doing is simply just adding some beds. You know, I'm adding in some slabs so you can store some stuff in there. Uh, even right here, you can add it like a, like a, a desk, if you will. And you can put this guy down and then you do that and then you have shelves like that. So it's just kind of small stuff like that. You know, these are not going to be very good rooms, they're not going to be very detailed rooms. But, you know, it's just, it, you have to make the best of what you can. Uh, and that's really what it comes down to when you're building these, these rooms next to the back of the ship. I mean, it has two balconies. Some say that doesn't make sense, but you know, maybe it's just a deluxe balcony. Who knows? It, it just is kind of that way. And you can actually cut that off now because that is the same balcony. Well, actually, it'll look better that way. But, you know, it's just... Just make do with what you have. It's going to be cramped back here when you make your ship, and that's just the reality of it. So just just bear with yourself and try to convince yourself it looks good. It, it never will. I've barely succeeded in making these back rooms ever look good. So just 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 do the best that you can. All right. So this room should be a little bit better because we I have a little more room to work with. So, come on. I'm using a different mouse right now, and it's really being weird because my other mouse broke. By the way, just to help you guys out. Never buy Razer mouses, okay? I've learned my lesson on that this time, and every time I plug it in, it goes to a blue screen. It has something to do with the drivers. I guess they don't like it. my computer and the driver doesn't get along, so I would highly advise not buying Razer products. Just saying. Sorry, anyone who works for Razer, but it's true. I don't know. I'm helping you guys in a way. So I'm going to go ahead and set those as wood. Set this as wood. So we have that wood floor again. Alright, we'll go ahead and make a door right there. So, um, again... Go ahead, add in your details, add in your beds, and they don't have to match the rooms that you already made. Um, now, the, the colors have to match, what I'm saying is that the layout doesn't have to match, because it won't match. There's no way you're going to be able to get the same amount of room unless you really do some serious modifications. So just add some, you know, just add some shelves like that, and just kind of add stuff in the room as it goes along, just so that it, it looks like you've actually tried. Um, Excuse me. Uh, that's just because it's going to be hard. As you see, we have ourselves a nice little room right here. Um, it actually works, and you can even put in... In this specific room, you can actually put in... Not glowstone. It is redstone. You can put in a, in a lamp, which you do by getting these products. Okay, so if you want to put in a lamp, you get another brick fence, and you put in a redstone lamp, and then you just do that, and there you go. Now you actually have a, a working lamp inside the cabin. So that's something that you can do. Uh, so there we go. That's the first level of stuff. So now we'll go ahead and go outside. So now we got two more layers to do. Now, what, one thing that you're not going to want to do, and I, I know some of you guys are going to try this, just don't even attempt it. Do not copy and paste these rooms up to the other level because these cabins, these ones right here, line up, but these will not because there's not there's these rooms are going to be smaller than the ones down here because that's just the way it is. There's not there's not a lot of space up here compared to the ones down there. So don't copy and paste these rooms there. It's just not going to work for you. It's going to end very very badly. Uh, just don't do it. And as you see right here, we are really gonna push for really gonna push for space. And honestly at this point at this point what I would do, if you come across this, I would make this room right here. I would actually just make this room a part of this balcony. Because it's going to be so cramped that it's just not gonna be it's not gonna be even worth it. So what I would do is in this room I would just go ahead and get rid of the stuff on this wall and then I would just extend it like this. Uh, and that that'll it'll make it look a little bit better in the long run, so you can have the outside matching uh, on all sides. So you still have a balcony right there. So th if you have a small space like that, I would just make this room extend out to reach that back balcony. Uh, but that's if you don't have enough space. Uh, like right here, uh, we're not even gonna bother making another hallway because this this is small enough for the room. So we're gonna go ahead and get some wood. Yes. Now let's go ahead and fill in the floor. Oops. So we'll do that, and then again, just fill in your wall, and it's going to be cramped, so don't even worry about it. Just make sure that you get it in, because uh, you, you trust me, you'd rather have something than nothing. That is, that's a good saying. You always have something than nothing. So there we go. Now we have a room shell. Again, it is incredibly small. Just I cannot, I can't express it enough. Just do your best. It's not going to be perfect. Uh, when you build ships, this is just something you're going to come by is really, really small spaces. And this is good that you guys see too when you're building your ships because there you will have spaces that are this small and tiny that you're just going to have to deal with. There's just no way around it. So, I'll go ahead and do that. 
and then there you go it is a small room and if you want to again you can go ahead and add yourself a lamp uh, just so that you can have that nice light in there uh, oh, I already put that down. Redstone, oh, redstone lamp. And then I would, I always put the lever facing the bed just because it makes sense to me. But you know, whatever. That's just my personal thing. That's what I like. So put the door in there. And then there we go. Oops, it's not right. There we go. Okay. So now this is the hallway. Okay. So we'll go ahead and go up to the last level. Like I said, this isn't gonna be a very long episode. It's just for me to try to get back into the gist of filming because it has been a, it, it's been over a month. So. Got to get back used to it, and actually, I just noticed this right here. If you have stuff sticking out of the wall, always make sure that the white wool covers it, just because you'd rather have your exterior look. You want your exterior to look better than your interior, in my opinion, because when you put it on Planet Minecraft and when you want to advertise your ship, the sad reality is that people aren't really going to care about the interior as much as they're going to care about the exterior. Because if they see in a, a carnival ship that looks identical to the one that they went on, then of course they're going to download that. But they're not going to look at the interior, they're going to look at the exterior, because that's just how people remember. Specifically, uh, younger uh, younger kids. And that's honestly, that is your, uh, when you're releasing your ships is another good opinion advice. Uh, you are, that is your, that is your audience, is kids about, oh, I'd say... I'd say seven and eight, roughly. That's that's gonna be the the people that are gonna download your ship the most. Uh, and you you have to think like them. You have to think, okay, well, you know, if I was eight years old, you know, what would I like? What would I want to see? And and that's a really good mentality to do when you're making your ships as well. Is you know they're not gonna pay as much attention to detail on the interior as they're gonna look at the outside. They're always gonna look at the outside. So that is something that you guys should take away from this also. And it's considering your audience. Uh, there's a reason that my ships get the amount of. Uh, views that they do, and that is because I, uh, it's, it's just audience. It's all about thinking about like your audience would think. Think about what they want, not what you want. Think about what they want, and then it's going to get you a lot of a lot of good stuff. So just take that away and and make sure that you guys know that as well. So as you see, what I did right here when I was talking, I also extended this balcony because the room it was not enough room to make a room, so I just I just made that balcony bigger. So we're gonna have enough room in this one, though. We should have enough room. So we're gonna go ahead and go back. And it's going to be, if you can, you want to make it the same as the room, or as close to the room below it as possible. Now, I'm actually going to make the beds facing this way because in this specific room I can. But you want to have the layout pretty close so that it's uniform in a way. Uh, just so that it has that organization. And, you know, it'll just look a lot more professional that way. Because that's how real cruise ships are designed. They're, they're, they're designed to be uniform. Uh, what I mean by uniform is that they're just designed to look, to, so each room looks the same so that they can charge uh, each room the same. So, that is that. Now right here, actually I'm going to add a wall. Cover up the white wool. You do not want white wool on the inside. You want to cover it up as much as possible. Uh, but like I always say, it is always better to have white wool outside than wood on the outside. Like if it's sticking out for any random reason. So right here I'm going to go ahead and just add like a, a little shelving area. Gonna put the door in, so we'll continue on the pattern with the, the defenses on the top, or the stairs on the top. Um, right here, we'll go ahead and put in that wall, and then there we go. So it's again, it's a small room. It's simple. It works. It is. It, it's good. Um, so there it goes. So now we have made these rooms, and that is about all there is to this. Now, a lot of you guys keep asking about the world edit. Keep asking how to flip it. A lot of people come on Island Craft, and they always ask me this. So I'm gonna. I'm going to quickly go over it again, uh, do a more in detail with world edit. So again, this is world edit, this is not a mod, this is not a, or this is a mod, this is not a cheat, you know, this is a mod. Uh, now on Islandcraft you can actually use it if you're a builder, so if you're a builder then obviously, well you should, you should know by this, you should know this by now, but anyways, when you're flipping something in world edit, you want, and if, before I start this, if you don't have world edit and you're not going to get it, then just completely disregard the rest of the video and just go ahead and build the same thing on the other side because you're not going to be able to flip it without world edit. But these are for the people that do have world edit. So, and this works for everything. This doesn't just work for these rooms, but it works for everything that you want to flip. So basically what you're going to do, you want to go to the center of the object. Now in this case, our object are the rooms we just made. So we're going to go to the center and the bottom. So the bottom center is right here. There's the lowest point of the object. So then, we're going to want to go to the farthest point away from that in the object. So that would be the, the top up here. Now I'd say the, 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 about the edge would be around, around here because that's where we made the modifications. So this would be the edge of our object. Now you want to line up perfectly with the edge, like this. And you want to go to the top, which is, this, is a, this is roughly the top of it. So we're going to go slash slash POS2, or you can just, or you can just, you know, 
left click or right click it like that. That's position two as well. Now what you're gonna do is you wanna stay at the center, or you wanna stay at the edge of this right here. You wanna face the way that you're flipping it. And you wanna type in slash slash flip or no, you have to copy it first. Copy it and then do slash slash flip without moving. You're gonna wanna after that, you're gonna wanna follow this line that you just copied it on and you want to try to line it up with the center of the object which this right here is about the center of the object I um, mean you want to stay on the top of it where you copied it then you're going to do slash slash paste and now what that's going to do is it's going to flip your object perfectly and you always want to double check it uh, always double check it because you can make mistakes and the one thing again that I cannot stress enough your doors will flip themselves so you're going to have to go back and you're going to have to put all your doors um, back to the way they were. Now I'm not going to bother going and doing that because people on Oncraft are just going to open them back up anyways. But that is just something that you're going to want to know for when you build your ship. And then as you can see, now we have all the rooms on all the sides and it is exactly the same as it was on the other side. And in my opinion, I think it's more efficient than building it two times because it's exactly the same. It's exactly symmetrical and I think that's a really good uh, or important factor that you should have when you're building your ship is that it's symmetrical. Um, mainly because of weight and balance for cruise ships and how they're actually designed in real life. But there you go. So that's how you make these end rooms and that's also how you uh, do the world edit. So thank you guys very much for watching and the support of this series. Again, I don't know when the next video will be. I'm going to try to make it once a week, but I can't promise anything. But thank you. Anyways.